days Cause you and I will never fade And I could be what you want so I'm about to head out to go meet up with the bridesmaids at the place that we're gonna go look at dresses. I don't know if this is gonna be the one and only place, if we're gonna go to multiple places, but um, I'm excited. It'll be an opportunity to pick a color for the wedding as well. joining us baby thank you for joining us i got home and i got some packages from amazon that i wanted to open up with you at this point i have no idea what any of this stuff is to be honest with you which is a little concerning because in my mind like i needed these things to get by but did i really if i can't even remember what they are what is this oh okay yes this is important come here thank you let's just take this off here you're not so loud they don't want to hear you jingling Long story short, I need basic, just plain shirts. Why are you doing this? Anyways, I need basic shirts. So I just got a black plain long sleeve, white plain long sleeve, and I got it off Amazon because I don't have time for anything in my life anymore. Oh, I know what these things probably are. The only thing about my dress that I'm really concerned about is like what I'm gonna do with my boobs. <laughs> Since I've lost weight, they don't have as much volume as they used to have, so they definitely need like a little help perking up. Jack, stop being so loud. You're gonna get a spanking. So this, I can't explain too much because you don't know what dress I picked and Philip doesn't either, so I don't wanna explain too much, but this bra, it sticks to you and it has this deep plunge and it's also backless. The little sticky part here is clear. It's a clear little sticky band. I was hoping it would be padded and it's not very padded, so I don't know what kind of like. Instead of being like this, I need to be like this. And I don't think that's gonna do it for me. I know like Kim Kardashian like duct takes her tits. Like I think that's what I'm gonna have to do. I don't know, but she has boobs. Damn it. All right, and I'm pretty sure this is another like boob bra situation. So this is the same thing except for, I don't think it has as deep as a plunge in the front. So this one has more padding. This might work. Oh yeah. Heck yeah. That might work. So this one has a sticky situation too. A sticky little side thing right here. It's got a tiny little bit of padding towards the bottom of it to lift the girls. And when you peel this off, this bottom part is sticky. So I went ahead and got these on Amazon now. My dress should be here in a couple weeks. So when it comes, I wanna be able to try this. Because when your dress comes in, You've got to make those big decisions about what you want altered about it. So you need to have your bra ready. I think that second bra was a winner, so good. So Philip and I are going to go get cuddly and hang out. I have a whole like hour and a half to spare before I need to get in bed. So I'm going to go ahead and take my melatonin and stuff now because tomorrow is Monday. We're going to make shit happen. Okay. And guess who got to take home the extra chocolate covered strawberries from the baby shower? Oh yeah. So for a tight here, you're still not leaning on the handlebars. Doesn't challenge you, doesn't change you, right? Yep. And I know y'all don't wake up this early to not get results from it. Monday mood. <laughs> Jax went outside and went pee and came back and got all bundled up. He heard me getting my camera, so he poked his head out. But he was completely under the blankets. Is it cold, baby? Is it too cold for puppies? Oh, I know, it's so cold.
morning. I stayed up really late last night trying to get some stuff done. So in turn, I overslept, which is awesome. Not awesome, I hate being late. I just remembered I was supposed to make a deposit on our photographer last night and I forgot, so hopefully they don't get pissed off at me. I'm busy, okay? I cannot find my gym shoes, dude. And I can only find one, which is in my car, which scares me because I'm like, where is the other one? Did it fall out and it's living its life without me now? I have to take this off to I leave. Struggle bus is in full effect as of this second. You know, I just thought about five seconds ago. I'm like, you know what, Michelle? You're dropping your healthy habits. You know what I say about my schedule being on my fridge and how important it is? This is what's been on my fridge. I mean, this is cool and everything. Philip drew that. That's precious. Um, but bitch, get your life together, okay? Oh my gosh, I didn't even tell you about yesterday. Yesterday's bad sequence of events. So quick run through. I get to the gym and I can't find one of my gym shoes. I also realized that I left my phone at home. Go to leave, I can't find my freaking shoes anywhere. And my bags tip my smoothie over and my smoothie pours all in my passenger seat, all in the floorboard of my passenger side. I was like, what the? So mad. As I'm doing that, one of my bags that I keep like my planner and a book in and stuff like that falls out of my car into a freaking rain puddle. I was like, I swear, before the Lord, if one more thing happens right now, why? I felt like stuff like that kept like happening over and over and over. And I'm like, you know what, Michelle, you're bringing this on yourself because you haven't been being positive. You haven't been doing stuff you need to be doing. So all this negative energy is just flying around you. And you need to just like, Make it go away, you know? You stole my heart of gold After my silver soul Can you dig any deeper now? I gave you all I own Put you on this golden throne But I'm a little stronger now You cast in on my I'm still in the kitchen doing the same thing except for a way bigger smoothie this time so it's only Tuesday and it already feels like I've had a really long week of workouts so I just made a giant smoothie it has one banana one full cucumber in it spinach mixed frozen fruit chia seeds almond milk and some protein powder And if the smoothie looks really gross, it's because it, it looks really gross in person, to be honest with you. Let's see if it tastes gross. It's not bad. It's just very chewy. I like the taste of cucumber in my smoothies. It's just the skin it doesn't really like grind up in my blender. What is going on in here? What in the puppy love is happening in here? Love you, Danny. Well, hello and welcome back to my kitchen. It's been a long day. It's so cold and rainy out. 
It feels like it's 10 o'clock at night right now because it's so dark. This time of year is just absolutely throwing me off. So Philip is actually on the way to try on some tuxes or tuxedos, whatever you want to call it, with his dad. I kind of just wanted him to go try some stuff out, get him in the spirit, because I know like whenever I started trying on wedding dresses is when things like became real for me and I really got excited and pumped up about it. And I'm doing most of the planning because like, you know, you can't really trust a man to like do stuff, you know? <laughs> so he's like, you know, just living his normal life. And me, I'm like in wedding mode every day. Anyways, hopefully that will jumpstart him into, um, you know, thinking about the wedding a little bit more. In case I didn't mention it, I did book my photographer and my videographer yesterday. I never thought I'd actually be able to have one. I just knew I really wanted one. So yay, freaking so pumped about that. Like, I just can't wait. Actually, I can wait because there's a lot of shit I have to do first. <laughs> My freaking legs and butt are so incredibly sore today. Oh my god. I mean, it's awesome. I, I can feel some strong booty gains going on right now. But woo, girl, I am hurting. So I think Philip's on his way home. Him and his dad did pick out and order tuxedos. So that's really exciting. I didn't think that they were going to do that yet, but that's fine. I squeeze my face. Don't judge me right now, okay? We're not talking about that right now. So I've been trying to pinpoint where exactly I'm going wrong, why I'm falling off of my game right now. Like, I'm doing everything that I'm supposed to do, but extremely half-ass, and I have a secret to tell you. My house is a mess. What is this? I do have an explanation, okay? So it took forever for summer weather to go away. So I was having to dip into my winter slash fall clothes, but also still my spring and summer stuff. So I had all my spring and summer stuff nicely in bags over there, but I kept having to dig into it. And in the mornings I'm rushing, so now it's all spilled out. And now also I have a bunch of shoes that somehow got on top of it. Um. You are your surroundings, and I am extremely unorganized right now, and I picked my face earlier. Like I said, we're not going to talk about it. Got another Amazon package in the mail. Yay! So I have been wanting to buy these for a long time and I just never did it for some reason even though they're like six bucks. But they're the little like empty mascara wands. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this up with castor oil and I'm going to put it on my lashes every night. I used to kind of just rub it with my fingers and it would kind of like get all around my eyes. I look so terrible right now, but I'm going to treat myself to some waffles this morning. You know, it's my favorite. Um, and these ones are banana flavor. And I'm going to sneak in some peanut butter powder. This is PB2. And some protein powder. And hopefully they turn out. I will put one egg in my waffles because I haven't gotten them to work out without egg. I've made lots of batches. I've had many fails. And the only fails were when I didn't use an egg. So one egg. So strong. I'm not going to be a good person. 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 I
Now. <laughs> oh my god. This was not right. Jax, who's got you? Oh. <laughs> oh, hello. Just doing a little multitasking while my water's getting warm for me to wash my face. Because I'm an efficient adult. So I kind of had a thought come to me as I was walking from the car to the house just now. And just realizing how dark and absolutely dreary it has been. I feel like I was so like just alive and excited and motivated during the summertime. And now I'm just like, <laughs> I'm hanging on by a thread, struggling to be effective, you know? And I feel like maybe just fall and winter time, you have to take a little bit more self-care than normal. Like my mood isn't where it's needing to be. I'm not being as positive as I was really striving to get towards. And I feel like I was making so many improvements and then I just kind of like flatlined and maybe even took like 10 steps back as well. I'm still doing great. It's just like, I really want to push, push, push myself to be like the best, you know? <laughs> So I've still been using my new Belief skincare. I did decide that I'm probably going to stop using this water essence. I don't know, like anything that I use except for regular like moisturizer and face wash, my face wants to kind of start breaking out. So the only thing I really have left for my Belief stuff that I'm still using is the moisturizing eye balm and I still have some of the Aqua Balm sleeping mask, but now I am starting to use this fancy little package here. So this brand is Youth to the People. So this is the Kale and Spinach Green Tea Hydraulic Acid. I really love these like whipped and almost like gel-like moisturizer. Even though I'm dry, I really do like them. I'm not gonna say this long ass name right now. The ingredients seem really nice on this, so I wanna try it. I really love oils, but a lot of them do clog my pores. The only one that hasn't in a long time that I have been loving and using is the Drunk Elephant version Marilla Oil, which I love, but I'm pretty much almost out of that. So let's go ahead and use this one tonight. My skin is pretty quick to let me know what is working and what is not. Oh my God. Ever since I freaking cut my nails off, I can't do anything. Come on, you son of a bitch. I was literally so freaking tired today. I felt like I couldn't live my life. We were at a coffee at work, so I was just like on the freaking struggle bus, okay? I hate to admit this, but it's completely the truth. I haven't said this yet, but a big reason that I'm falling off of my game is I'm editing. A lot of that time where I was like on it, everything in my house is clean, I got a list for everything, my grocery shopping's done, I'm living my best life, I'm in a great mood. It's because I wasn't spending multiple hours, you know, and staying up late and waking up early editing videos. <sighs> Working a full-time job and doing YouTube videos is very, very, very difficult, um, but I'm just trying to push through, trying to figure out a good schedule. I have been trying to do YouTube and be consistent and pump out good content while still living a semi-normal life for four years, five years. Ugh. Yeah, like five years. It's a long time. <sighs> the first step to fixing something is admitting and figuring out what the problem is. I literally think that I'm going to be a psycho and I'm going to make a sign for my mirror that says, Michelle, do not pick your face. You are getting married in five months. I want my skin to be bomb, 
banging, amazing. I don't know why I have this in my mind, but when I wake up the next morning, like I just want to be so beautiful and fresh faced and him just be like, oh my gosh, this is my wife. And not me be like, you know? I think I think way too into things. But hey, at least a girl got goals, you know? I'm about to heat up my vegan chili. And I think I'm gonna make some rice put under it and maybe a little avocado on top. It's kind of like weird, but this is like a taco chili. I need to take a bath. I need to hopefully get some editing done like a little bit tonight. And I really need to get a good night's rest because I struggled all day at work today. It was so hard to get through the day. to share with you my fail of the week, the day, the hour, I don't know. So my little castor oil idea did not work out because these little bottles don't have a stopper. So when you pull this out, this wand is just overly coated. Like I don't know why they would do that. It's working a lot better now than last night because I'm complaining about it. So now it wants to work. So I bought a new bedspread for my bed and some new sheets and stuff a couple weeks ago, but I haven't put them on because the weather has been so terrible and Jack sleeps in our bed. So obviously our bedding has to be washed at least once to twice a week. His dirty little paws are up in there. He's shedding all over the place. I mean, it's not the ideal situation, but he is my baby. He is my child. I need him to sleep with me. I love him. Okay, but anyways, um, I've had enough of what is on my bed right now. So out with the old, in with the new, in every area of my life, but right this second, my bedding. So let's do this. Guys, I am so impressed with this bed set. So it didn't come with the sheets. I bought the sheets separately on Amazon. But guys, this came from Aldi's. Crazy, right? Hashtag Aldi's please sponsor me. Thank you so much. This is my favorite like print. I have this all over my house. It's ridiculous. And it also comes with this other little blanket that goes at the bottom, which is so cool. And it has like the little print too. I only have three pillows, so I have a little bit of extra, but it comes with this print and then this print as well. And these are like reversible. Same thing with the comforter. And a little extra bonus, my decorative pillows from my last sheet set still match this, right? Kinda? Yay. I feel like a new woman. Good morning. Oh, Jack's definitely enjoyed the new sheets. Good morning, lazy boy. You wanna get up? I'm so excited because today is payday and I can finally use my grocery list and go to the grocery store. Thank you, Jesus! Mm. So right now I'm actually making egg scramble because I bought eggs last week to make waffles and then Philip bought eggs to make omelets. So now we have a bunch of eggs in the house and I don't want them to go to waste. I don't like really eating them at all. I actually really don't like the taste of eggs very much, but you know, I just don't want that chicken's sweet time, you know, and life wasted. I needed to leave the house about five minutes ago, but I'm still making breakfast because like, when I get hungry, like, I'm hungry. Okay, I already have a smoothie. I packed some rice to go with my chili that I already have at work. I also have salsa at work too. I have an avocado with me. I got some sweet potatoes with me to go to work. I'm just trying to be fed today, okay? I'm done cleaning up your mess Found myself in my regrets I've become a little stronger now I'm going to clean up my mess and get to work, y'all! So I got home from work and I just hurry up and got ready. I don't really wear foundation during the week, so I just kind of like added more concealer in like the middle part of my face, put on some more bronzer, more blush, Highlight, Avi. Threw on some lashes, big ass lashes from Amazon. I will link them in the description. But we're going to see a Nirvana cover band 
I don't know anything about it. Philip's friend at work wants to go, so we are going. This is pretty typical for my like going out clothes if I'm not trying to be like saucy and sexy with the girls, you know? <laughs> it's really cold outside, so my normal uniform is back out. This is my jacket that I always wear out. It is kind of beat up because it has been through it. I actually lost this jacket in Gatlinburg and it was brought back to me from a friend and I was like, <gasps> Oh my God, thank God, because I had called around to all the places that we went in Gatlinburg and asked if they had my jacket and they were like, no. And I was so sad, but I got my jacket back. Just have a flannel, I tied it up because you know, I really don't like wearing loose clothes. It's not my thing. I got my Marilyn Manson shirt on. Been waiting to wear this till we went to some kind of like show or something because I bought this when we seen Marilyn Manson. Um, it was probably like five months ago. I don't know, something like that. And the shoes are the big ticket item, or not the big ticket item, but the special item of the night. I usually don't wear heels out with Philip because I'm bigger than him, but I just didn't really care today. <laughs> so yeah, I have to work tomorrow, so I really won't be doing any drinking, any partying. I'm just there. I really have to be coaxed and talked into going out. Once I'm there, I always have a good time, but God. I just want to be home and getting some stuff done. I have so much editing done, it's insane. I have to work all day tomorrow. So my only day off that I get this week, I'm going to be editing. But the amazing news is, is next week I have like six days off in a row or something crazy for the holidays. Like, thank you so much, because I need it. I need a break, I feel it in my bones, I need a break. But yeah, Ariela, uh, we'll check in either later tonight or tomorrow morning. Hopefully I won't feel like shit and hungover and made bad decisions. Uh, it's like 11.25 p.m. right now, and it feels like it's 3 a.m. I'm so old. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad that I didn't drink, because if I had been drinking, I would have been really, really tired. And I had like a 30 minute drive, so obviously didn't want to be drinking. Kids don't drink and drive. Yeah, my one goal of the night was to get something sweet to eat. And I didn't get anything sweet to eat. So I'm gonna like rummage through the kitchen, but I honestly know that there's nothing good there. There might be some dark chocolate. Maybe, but I kind of like dark chocolate with things. I don't like it just like plain. I might have to get crafty. So I did forget that this was already planned. So I was thinking that I was going to the gym after work today, but it's probably a really good thing because I actually hurt my knee in the gym yesterday. I like pulled some muscle like right above my knee and it's pretty swollen right now. It's been hurting all day. Like I can't really like bend my knee without it hurting. Don't look at all my laundry. So I'm hoping that my knee feels better by tomorrow so I can go to the gym. <laughs> Bell, make a snack. No. I'm starving. The only thing I wanted today was something sweet to eat. Nobody cares. Jax. Jax. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come give me a kiss. Mommy missed you. Why are you ignoring me? Jax. Oh my god. This is what I get, you know? This is what I get. Well, hello guys. Happy Saturday. It is about 5.30. I just got off work. Yes, I worked today and it was a long day. <laughs> but the good news is it's over. Thank you, Jesus. This has been the longest work week of my life. I don't know what the deal was with this week. Next week is a short week. Thank you, Jesus. Even though I have absolutely so much editing to do, like it's crazy. I'm gonna have to stay up late tonight. I'm gonna have to wake up early tomorrow and somehow edit like a whole week's vlog. I don't really know how I'm gonna do this, but I can do it. We'll get it done. So I'm at the gym now. I usually always change before I get here, but I was just ready to get out of work. So I went ahead um, and just left. So I'm going to take my gym bag in, get changed. I have a handy dandy workout that I typed up. I just wanted to have a little bit of a plan because my knee is still swollen and hurting. And I was trying to think of stuff that would kind of push me but not be too, too hard on my knees. I don't know. We'll see as I go. I'm bringing you with me and we are going to get this done. Okay, so I did not realize that my gym closes at 6 o'clock on Saturdays. So I have basically 20 minutes to get as much as I can done. So this is going to be a super quick hit workout. So this is what we have. We have a warm up. I have some stuff to do on some risers, a sand ball, some weights, and some stuff for a mat. So our warm up is going to be to set this up so freaking quick. Oh my gosh. 
has a friend over so I'm gonna try to talk as low as possible so that it doesn't think that I'm a weirdo so I had some of my vegan chili my little meal prep for dinner and now I am snacking on some vegan chocolate ice cream from Aldi's hashtag please sponsor me Aldi's I have been editing for a while and I still have an extremely long time to go so I'm gonna do something I've never done and I'm gonna sign this vlog off here. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching, I appreciate it so very much. This has been an awesome experience and I'm so glad you guys are here to join me. I'm going to get to editing now so I can post a video for you guys tomorrow. I'll see you next week. Bye. Uh, oh, Jesus. I honestly don't know. We're, I'm attending a wedding uh, in two weeks, and Phil, me and Philip have to take massive notes yeah. about like what happened right when. I can see him with his notebook. Right <laughs> I will be typing in my phone. Okay, so now we do this. <laughs> oh yeah, super subtle. But they're yellow. You know, I love how subtle it is. I don't know though. Makes my boobs look a little pointy. Can somebody buy me a boob job for the wedding, please? This is so my child. <laughs> oh, hello, baby. Oh my goodness, you're cute. It smells so freaking good. Like, mm. I went to the bathroom today. Oh, that is so close. Oh. Oh, hello. Again, I always say it. There's a sale at TJ Maxx. You have to go. Hurry. You have to get there so fast. Go. Are there any like is um, this this is the gray right? This is that gray? Well, it looks like a taupe. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. thinking. I don't know if there is Sometimes a gray. Sometimes just a couple of shades different, and they just don't go together. Because there's moonlit waltz there, mm -hmm. and then that's moonlit waltz. Mm -hmm. But it kind of looks. I don't know. Right. It does like look maybe silver the gray. underneath is gonna make it look mm -hmm. more. Do the laces. I wonder if there is like oh, similar. I'm here. I don't want it's like a gray, lacy gray. Mm -hmm.